reopening its Castle Hotel just in time for the President's Day weekend and offering guests some limited access to the park. And we are joined by Legoland's President and General Manager, Kurt Stocks. Kurt, welcome. Hi, Jim. Thanks for having me. And I should have said, you know, you're opening the hotel in limited capacity. How do we get to this ability to do this uh, now? Yeah, well, fortunately, with um, the removal of the stay at home orders by the by the governor in recent weeks, it has allowed uh, hotels to reopen across the state. And uh, so we will return to, uh, a, you know, a, a very much a restricted operation similar to what we had before Christmas, uh, I guess, as guests uh, come back to visit us and visit us in the Castle Hotel. Uh, we will be operating un under reduced capacity. They can expect to see things like cashless payments in place, um, the, the, the normal social distancing protocols that they're, they're used to seeing in the wider community, uh, very much in, in enhanced and increased uh, cleaning protocols, lots of temperature checks as they, as they enter the premises. But at the end of the day, it's still gonna be uh, an enormous amount of fun for, for all our guests over the coming weekends. Well, they will have some limited access to the park as well. Where will they be able to go? Um, so for our hotel guests in the park, um, they'll have access to our big shop, which is um, the biggest Lego retail store on, on the West Coast. They'll also have exclusive access to Miniland USA, one of the iconic elements of our theme park. And we're also opening our hideaways attraction, which is a, a, a ropes based um, play uh, attraction, if you will, um, which is a huge hit, one of our most famous longstanding attractions for kids. And uh, it's an outdoor play area that we know kids love. So we're delighted to be, to be able to offer that. Um, in the hotel itself though, we will have our, our, our hotel restaurants open and they'll be available for grab and go purchases and also dining out opportunities. Um, our pools will be open. Um, despite the weather, our pools will be open and we'll, we'll do a lot of outdoor play activities. We'll do outdoor movies and so on for, for families staying with us. Like I said, they're gonna have a great time. You know, from, from my own perspective as a, as, a, as a father with young children myself, I, I understand how important it is to, uh, to get back out and, and have some fun with the family. And I would imagine you have some excited employees that are glad to get back to work. How many are gonna be impacted by this? Yeah, so it's been it's been wonderful to to be able to make those calls. We've had um, many thousand staff impacted over the last eleven months since we since we voluntarily closed in March last year. Um, it, it, it's it's one of the nicer parts of the of the process to be able to call some of our staff back and and let them know that we are finally on that on a long road. I think it will be a long road, but we're we're certainly on that road to a to a full reopening, and hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. And in that regard, we're talking about Assembly Bill 420, which would change the tier for assembly par parks and hopefully bring that about sooner. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, from our perspective, um, you know, we, we certainly applaud uh, Assembly members uh, Quirk, Silva and Valadares for their, for their leadership uh, in, in, in attempting to, to get theme parks open. Um, here we, at Legoland California, we've spent a lot of time preparing our reopening guidelines, putting plans in place. We've shared those plans with the city, county and state legislators, and we've always had overwhelming glowing feedback for our readiness to reopen. So, so we know that we can do it. We've demonstrated as, as an industry that we can do it across the country and also across the world without any reported outbreaks. So we know very much that we're, we're ready to go. We just need to get um, California parks across the line. So the bill itself, uh, calls on the state to readjust or recalibrate the, the opening tier structure to allow all theme parks to reopen under restricted capacities in the third orange tier rather than the final fourth yellow tier. So um, we, we are very much calling on the state to support that movement and uh, allow us to get um, many thousands of staff across the state back to work and uh, many families back into our gates to, uh, to enjoy a safe, fun, uh, experience like they always have. Legoland's president and general manager, Kurt Stocks. Kurt, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Jim.